ADOS calibration is increasingly becoming a service that tire dealerships and independent repair shops offer. But there's quite a few steps to follow before you even begin to calibrate a vehicle's ADOS sensors. Let's take a look at a checklist of what needs to be done before performing this service next. ADOS technology or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems help enhance driver safety. These systems consist of automatic emergency braking, lane departure warnings, blind spot detection, and front and rear cameras, and many others. A calibration of these systems and sensors should be done whenever they might be disturbed. Sometimes common service work such as suspension repair and wheel alignment can make that happen. As a general rule of thumb, you'll want to perform a calibration when a sensor or mounting bracket is removed or replaced, or when there is a change in tire size. To prepare the shop and the vehicle for ADOS calibration, be sure to follow this pre-calibration checklist. First, check the battery voltage. In order for ADOS applications to operate properly, they need power supplies that meet certain voltage accuracy, load transient, and fault protection requirements. Next, check the vehicle's tire pressure and wheel alignment, since both play a role in ADOS calibration. Other aspects of the vehicle that need checked include the fuel gauge, be sure to have a full tank of gas, the vehicle's weight, make sure there's no unnecessary weight in the vehicle, and any modifications to ride height. Camera and radar systems need the vehicle's ride height so they are aimed correctly. I'm Maddie Weiner, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studios at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.